Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with theblogtowatch.com. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. Uh, I'm very proud to bring you this review of the Arnold & Son UTTE watch. This is a very special timepiece, very beautiful, very limited and new for 2013. So what are we looking at? First of all, UTTE stands for Ultra Thin Tourbillon Escapement. And this is actually the thinnest tourbillon uh, watch in the world. Um, it's manually wound and it, you know, it just beats Piaget, just by a little bit. Piaget um, has in a lot of ways made names for themselves by creating um, very thin movements um, and they do a fantastic job. Uh, but for this year, uh, Arnold and Son beat them just a tiny little bit by making the UTTE um, the thinnest uh, tur you know, mechanical tourbillon uh, all, all tourbillons are mechanical. The thinnest manually wound tourbillon in the world. Um, Piaget still holds that record for different other, other types of tourbillon, namely an automatic one. But you know what? To be perfectly honest, when it comes down to it, um, you know, at that level of thinness, you know, you're talking about under mi one millimeter differences, little things like that. Basically, you know, both watches like the UTTT and the various types of ultra thin tourbillons from Piaget, as well as brands like Audemars Piguet are extremely impressive. So uh, I think that you're not going to, you know, want one over the other. It's just kind of like, you know, the design, maybe a little bragging rights. But what really impresses me about the UTTE is not just the thinness, but it's design. It is a beautiful, beautiful design. You have these two dials, uh, two sub dials here um, on the dial. One is this expansive tourbillon window which happens to be the same size as the time dial, which is, of course, off-centered. Um, I believe that the tourbillon is about 14 millimeters wide. So not only is it thin, but it's a large tourbillon. It's a very attractive one as well. You can tell that there's a really great attention to detail. You can see right through um, the entire movement there. The movement here is the Arnold & Son A and S. 8200 it has about 80 hours of power reserve so even though it is manually wound you have a couple of days of power reserve there and i want you to notice uh carefully i'm trying to see if i can zoom in here it's a little bit difficult look at that bridge um on the tourbillon there and you'll notice that it's uh, engraved you have some hand engraving there very fine detail and the rest of it is the sunburst polishing which continues on the dial so you have this matching kind of design on the rear of the movement where you have this polishing with these stripes creating the sunburst pattern and then you have this um, pattern on the dial as well emanating from the tourbillon it's lovely one thing I found interesting is that despite the size of the dial, it's extremely legible. So while wearing the watch, I have no problem whatsoever uh, reading the time um, and being able to see it. The hands are blued, um, and you know you have Roman numerals there. It's just it's just fantastic. Very simple, elegant, uh, and of course you have the hours and minutes, and the tourbillon acts as the seconds indicator. So on the wrist, you have here again the the entire watch case is I want to say 8.34 millimeters thick so this is what 8.34 millimeters looks like yes there are thinner watches out there but in terms of a tourbillon this is fantastic the movement itself is under three millimeters thick so the movement under three millimeters so the rest of that thickness is all in the case and the crystal and things like that and one thing you can see that they did which is a little bit of trick is the tourbillon itself is actually in the dial so not only is it exposed but most of it's in the dial so in order to save space the dials kind of seated um, around the tourbillon cage which is kind of beautiful and another thing that they did is you know create a slightly smaller balance wheel so you have it's not smaller it's, it's actually kind of normal size but sometimes tourbillons try to have larger balance wheels so you have this larger cage it just it looks it looks really fantastic the case itself is 42 millimeters wide which i think is a good size for a dress watch um, and it comes in 18 karat rose gold which is this version as well as the palladium model um you know palladium is palladium it's you know, one of those things, it's interesting. It's not my top choice for me. Um, this rose gold model is really the, the cream of the crop. But you know what, here's the thing. Both of them are limited to 50 pieces. So if you want one of these, you get what you get because these are very, very limited. 
I love this nice, beautiful uh, alligator strap here. It feels really, really nice. It's soft. And I like that the, the lugs are widely spaced so that it has kind of a nice substantial look on here. I think this is about a, a 22 millimeter strap probably. And so there you have it. That's the Arnold & Son UTTE uh, with the in-house made ANS 8200 manually wound tourbillon movement with 80 hours of power reserve. Uh, it is the world's thinnest tourbillon watch and you know we'll see how long they're able to claim that record i think it's gorgeous it's just a beautiful beautiful watch arnold and son has been damn impressive lately they've been creating some great things they are definitely a brand to look at right now or at the very least watch um again this is a limited edition of 50 pieces price for the the uh the palladium version i think it's palladium i'm pretty sure it's palladium um is $61,150 and for this version in 18 karat rose gold the price is $71,500 and you can see the full review soon on a blog to watch thanks